the EDUCAS WJEC specification requires candidates to apply Finnis's development of natural law to the ethical issue of immigration. The difficulty with the practical application of ethical theories is that it is rarely straightforward. Any simplistic explanation is likely to be limited. We must recognise that not only are there a range of reasons why a person might wish to migrate to another country, but there are also numerous ways in which a country may respond given the needs of the citizens within it. Immigration is the act of a person moving to live permanently within a foreign country. An individual may move because they are looking for a better quality of life. They may wish to find work or join family. It is also possible that they are fleeing from war or an oppressive regime. However, the response of a country that considers welcoming an immigrant person may be affected by issues such as the amount of people who are considering immigrating at any one time, the skills or workers needed, or the resources a country feels are available to share out. In the instances of war or extreme hardship, there may be many individual people who could be fleeing for their lives and few will have planned perfectly for their move in advance, potentially leading to logistical problems. Finnis's natural law holds that all people have the right to participate in any or all of the basic goods. These basic goods have no hierarchy. They include life, knowledge, friendship, play, aesthetic experience, practical reasonableness and religion. If a person is fleeing for their life, immigration through seeking asylum would surely be a good thing because all people must be allowed to participate in the good of life. However, this is not the only value that is to be upheld. Finnis requires us to see the goods holistically rather than separately and a requirement of practical reason is that we do not arbitrarily prioritise one good over another. Natural law would still consider the goods of education or the exercise of practical reasonableness to be as important as the good of life. So there is nothing inherently wrong in the project of immigration where it enables a person to participate in these goods, where previously they could not, and where, according to practical reason, it does not damage the participation in the goods for other people, for there must be respect for every basic value in every act. Other requirements of practical reason are that we should have a plan of life to ensure that we can participate in the goods and detachment to prevent unreasonable obsession over a project. Where immigration enables a person to pursue further planned projects that allow participation in any or all of the goods, such as life, education or friendship, then it is a positive thing. This might not be so reasonable if the drive to get to a new country is at all costs, risking life and freedom in the process, such as in the specific case of an individual seeking asylum. Detachment suggests that an individual should not obsessively pursue the project of immigration where there is great risk to life on the journey with no certainty about the ability to participate in the goods when the destination is reached. However, people who pursue immigration through seeking asylum in this man manner are likely to do so because their situations are desperate. It may be practically reasonable to commit to the project of immigration in this case, where there is greater risk to life by staying in the one place.